Okay, in this video we'll show how array functions can be used to perform matrix multiplication and matrix inverses. And if you do any advanced math, for instance, if you're in Treasury and you took advanced finance classes, you'll find this very useful. So let's talk a little bit about matrix multiplication. So a matrix is simply an array of cells. For instance, this is a two by three matrix here in red because it has two rows and three columns. This is a three by two matrix because it has three rows and two columns. So if we call this matrix A and matrix B, how do we multiply them? Well, it turns out when you multiply a matrix that has M rows and R columns times a matrix with R rows and N columns, and you need the number of columns of the first matrix to equal the number of rows of the second matrix for this to work, you get a result that has M rows and N columns. So here we have a 2 by 3 times a 3 by 2. We'll get a 2 by 2 matrix. And how would we get that matrix? Well, we just do sum of products. So like what would be the first element, the element in row I and column J when A multiplies B? It's the sum of product of row I of the first matrix and column J of the second matrix. So for instance, how do I get that 15? It's 3 times 1 plus 4 times 2, that's 3 plus 8, 11, plus 1 times 4, which is 15. For example, how do I get this number, the 25? Take the second row of the first matrix times the first column of the second matrix. 5 times 1 is 5. 6 times 2 is 12, 17, 2 times 8 is 25, 7. Well, how can we use Excel to do matrix multi multiplication? The mmult function multiplies matrices. So you first, and it's an array function, so you first have to select the range where the answer goes. So if I want to multiply these matrices, we know the answer is going to be a 2 by 2. So I select two rows and two columns, and I type M mult. Just point to the first matrix. Put a comma, point to the second matrix, right paren, control shift M. And there we go. And what you can see is the curly bracket indicates it's an array formula. You can't delete a part of the array formula. That's what you okay, now what does it mean to invert a matrix? can only invert a square matrix, okay? So, and so not all square matrices have inverses, but we won't worry too much about that. Only square inverses have inverses. So what does it mean with numbers to have a, like a multiplicative inverse? Okay, the multiplicative inverse of five is one-fifth, because five times one-fifth which you want, and 0 does not have an inverse, because nothing times 0 will give you 1. So multiplicative inverse with numbers is simply whatever times a number will give you 1. Okay, so similarly, what's the inverse of the matrix? Sure, we have a 2 by 2 matrix. And the inverse will always be the same size. Is there a matrix I can multiply this by so I get the identity matrix? And the identity matrix is matrix with 1 on the diagonals and 0 off the diagonals. Why is it called the identity matrix? Because if you take a matrix A times the identity, you get the matrix A. And actually, matrix multiplication doesn't commute. A times B doesn't have to equal B times A. But in this case, I times A would equal A also. OK, and you, matrix inverses are important for solving equations in a variety of statistical calculations. So if I want the inverse of this matrix, it'll be a 2 by 2. And the answer turns out to be minus 5 sevenths, 3 sevenths, 4 sevenths, minus 1 seventh. How do you know that? If you would multiply C times C inverse, you'd get 1 times minus 5 sevenths, that's minus 5 sevenths, plus 3 times 4 sevenths is 1. Then the first row and second column, you get 1 times 3 sevenths, plus 3 times minus 1 seventh, that's 0. What would be in the second row, first column? 4 times minus 5 sevenths, that's minus 20 sevenths, plus 5 times 4 sevenths is 20 sevenths. That gives you 0. And finally, the second row of the first matrix times the second column would be 4 times 3 sevenths, 12 sevenths, minus 7, 5 sevenths, would be 12 sevenths minus 5 sevenths, which is 1. But that's pretty messy. And if you ever had to invert a matrix, you know it's a pain in the neck. But all I have to do in Excel is do M inverse function. I, I, I select, first I have to select two rows and two columns. And then just point to the matrix. The matrix is everywhere. Control, Shift, Enter. There's your inverse. That's the minus 5 sevenths. 
that's the three sevenths, that's the four sevenths, and that's the minus one seventh. So I hope you've enjoyed these videos on arrays. And really, if you want to learn more about arrays, there's a terrific book, Control Plus Shift Plus Enter, which is a great title. I forgot the author's, author's name. But basically, Control Plus Shift Plus Enter is how you enter array formulas. And that book, I think his name is Mike McGurk. Not sure. But that book is 350 pages on array formulas and will teach you more than you want to know about array formulas. But it is really definitely the best book on array formulas. Okay, let's see what we do in the next few videos. Okay, so thanks for watching. And, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston. Um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews. Uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here. And you can sort of see 4.5 or his newest book, his analytic stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so, yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21 day course from Dr. Winston. Um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.